All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with a special three, count them, three fight preview. So we're going to Tokyo, Japan for Ryzen number 20. First fight up on the card is going to be in the Super Atomweight division. That's 108 pounds. First up is going to be Miyu Yamamoto taking on Suanon Amp the Rocket Boonsorn. Uh, let's see. Now the fighting Queen B is coming in with a record of five and four. Boonshorn coming in with a record of four and two. So relatively the same experience. Now Yamamoto's coming in off a loss to Sahi Ham uh, via TKO about two and a half months ago. Boonshorn and pre preceding that, she had won I think like four straight. Uh, Boonsorn, on the other hand, is coming in off a win over Yunha Hong via armbar, and that was two months ago. Preceded by a loss to Ayaka Hamasaki via armbar, and that was in Ryzen four months ago. Uh, let's see, age. Uh, so, Yamamoto is 22 years old, the elder. Uh, 44 five years to Boonsorn's 23. Uh, let's see. Yamamoto is one inch taller, five feet, one inch, 156 centimeters tall, two, five, nothing, and 153 centimeters. So here you have a world class wrestler taking on a Muay Thai based fighter who has really, really taken on, uh, learned how to grapple very well, and is very super strong to boot. Uh, I personally, I think there are some hormones uh, being injected, being taken in there, but we won't get too far into that. Anyhow, Amp the Rocket loves submissions. Her last three wins have all come by submission. Uh, Two of them by armbar, one to sleeper choke. Uh, Yamamoto has been, you know, susceptible to submissions in the past. Now, her last loss by submission was do, 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 to Irene Cabello, and that was over two years ago, 2017. But, you know... Amp the Rocket tends to really force them. I mean, she muscles her way into submissions. And muscles her way around everything. And, you know, Yamamoto, she she just came into the sport too late, in my opinion. Now, she's made some marked improvements in the short amount of time that she's been fighting. But they're just not enough. And I think she's going to take another uh, second straight loss to Poonsorn here. So my money's on Sue and Ambun to win. Possibly via submission. Which brings us up to a 112 pound catchweight fight. Uh, Lindsay Van Zant taking on Rena Kubota. Now this is a rematch from back in like June. Yeah, like in June to uh in Bellator. So now they're fighting in Ryzen, in the Ryzen ring, under Ryzen rules. So the damsel, Van Zant is coming in with a record of 7-2. and two. Reyna's coming in with a record of 9-3. and three. Both are coming off of wins, preceded by a loss. Of course, in Reyna's case, it's the loss was to Van Zant. Then she picked up a win over Alexandra Alvari. A very late notice opponent two months ago which was just a pure, uh, what do you call it, tune-up fight. Whereas Van Zant's coming off a win over Shino Van Hoos. Uh, leg kicked her and just pretty much blew her knee out with that leg kick. Uh, let's see, looking at the stats, Reyna's two years older, 28 to 26 for Van Zant. Uh, Reyna is one inch taller, 5 feet 3 inches, 160 centimeters. To Van Zant's five feet two hundred, five feet two inches, hundred and fifty-seven centimeters. However, Van Zant has 
one inch more in reach, 64 inches, 163 centimeters, to Reina's 63 inches, 160 centimeters. So you have a a very gifted striker in Reina who is crafty with submissions on the ground, but she really, they have to be like fast and they have to come out of a scramble really. Um, and that's from the shoot boxing background. On Van Zant, you have a pretty well-rounded fighter. Now, my money's on Van Zant to win this again because, well, the first fight was only six months ago. And I just don't see Reyna making the improvements needed to beat Van Zant here. Now, grand, this is in a cage. Uh, Rain compared to the fight was in a cage last time. And the rules, the rule set favors, uh, I would say, favors Reyna a little bit. But, and I don't think Van Zant's ever fought in a, cage, in a ring. So that favors Reyna a little bit, but... I mean, Van Zant found her neck the first time, and I, I see her honestly. I, I see her finding Reina's neck again this time. So my pick is for Lindsay Van Zant to win here. And then finally, I'm not sure the exact placement. I think it's like two fights below the main event. Uh, but for me, this is the main event of the evening for me. Uh, the Super Atomweight Championship, 108 pounds. Ayaka Hamasaki, the defending champ, taking on a challenger. Sahi Ham, Hamdele Silva. This is a this fight's huge. I mean, huge. So Hamasaki's coming in 19 and two. She hasn't lost since getting knocked out by. Uh, Livia Souza back in 2017 took a year off after that, but she's on a five fight win streak. Uh, Sahi Ham's coming in 22 and 8 and has been on a tear since leaving the UFC where she fought at strawweight. And she, I mean, she has finished four of her last five opponents and she's never been a finisher in her career. So both fighters right now, this is. This fight's crazy. Uh, let's see. Hamasaki's the elder fighter. 37 to Ham's 32. Ham looks like she is one inch taller. 5 feet 2 inches, 158 centimeters. To Hamasaki's 5 feet 1 inches, 155 centimeters. Don't have a reach listed for Hamasaki. Ham's is listed at 62 inches, 157 centimeters. So these two have met in the past. The last time they met was in 2011. Uh, Hamasaki won both of those. However, I'm picking Ham to win this time. I won't go into too many, many details because I have a full preview of this fight coming out where I'm going to go into that there. I just, everything points to this being Ham's time. Uh, this is her fight to win. Uh, so we're going to go with Hom to win this one. All right. So that's my uh, picks for Ryzen number 20. This is going to go down early in the morning, July, or excuse me, December 31st here in the U.S. It's going to be on fight.tv. Uh, you can download the fight app if you want to watch it on your phone or your iPad, or you can watch it or tablet, whatever. Um, you can also watch it on things like Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, whatever. Um, so, if you want to watch, go ahead. I'm going to try to watch them all live. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing a uh, fight companion for this. That's just too hard. And I have to work that day anyway. So, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Likes always appreciated, of course. And, hey... What are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time.